Nope. No thanks. God, keep moving. So we are on the ghost ship. Finally. Can we go down this way here? This place is a cemetery. Yeah, he's got it right. He knows. Um, don't quite know how he knows, but somehow he does know. <laughs> Must be the smell of death. Oh, hey, collectible. What we got? Guard duty, nice. Oh, you bastard. What was that all about? Off we go. Everybody's barefooted here. This whole place is a floating death trap. What's this? The little collectible? Oh, it's his torch. <laughs> it's the reflection of his torch. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Okay, mate. Sorry. Jesus. Keep moving. Keep moving. What the hell, she just dropped there? Oh! Here we go. Salem, Massachusetts, on his top. I did not sign up for a trip to Creek Town. Creep town. Something about this place is making my hair stick up so far it's gonna jump out of my neck. The mask of madness. Do you dare to look death in the eye? Well, these camera angles are insane. Right, anything here for us? Get back! Oh, well, he does not like me going in the wrong direction whatsoever. Just beds here, nothing. Oh. Miller. Move! Move, oh god, he is aggro, isn't he? Go this way? Nope. What the hell do these dickheads want with us? We go. Oh, mad. Mad. Anything? Nope. He's just freaking out over nothing. Nothing there for us either. Okay, let's follow this way. Oh shit! This way for us at all. Door? Nope. What's this? Internal memorandum. You're covering Patterson's guard duties tomorrow. He is sick again, conveniently. It's always when he has guard duties in hold 3A. First is 2400. Check the chart for the rotation. Again? This is the third time this week. None of us like it down there. Maybe Patterson should book up. Just get on it. Stay back! <sighs> Stay back? Like, well, where do you want me to go? It's so dark here, it's insane. This way? Watson! You're in to see! Okay, all of you. Into the room. from them, wasn't expecting that.
hell is this fucking place? It's an abandoned ship. Given our observations that this is some sort of ship and seems to be abandoned, I'm going to go out on a limb and say it's some sort of abandoned ship. <laughs> you think this ship is the Manchurian gold? We are in the vicinity of those coordinates. We can't just sit around. We need a plan. Yeah. We're not exactly in the best position to be making any moves. Second they let their guard down, we gotta take advantage of it and get off the ship. Um, it's dangerous here. Yeah, man. This whole rust bucket's one tetanus shot from the bottom of the ocean. We already tried to escape. Didn't exactly work out. They swiped our distributor cap. Gonna be difficult to get anywhere without it. Uh, what is a distributor cap? Because I have so, no clue. Okay, what exactly is a distributor cap? Now pretend you're talking to someone who doesn't know anything about boats. Well, typically, a distributor cap is designed to distribute voltage from the coil to the correct rotor, which in turn... It's an essential part of the engine. We're not taking the Duke of Milan anywhere without it. No, so we're fucked Are those basically. guys are up panning for Manchurian gold or whatever they think they're gonna find on this floating coffin? We gotta take advantage and look around for a way out of here. Fliss, I just wanted to say that, um, I might have gotten things kind of wrong back there. Uh, excuse me? I may have kind of prematurely come to the conclusion that maybe, you know, you're working some kind of side deal with these guys or whatever. But I, I mean, obviously that's not true. They're being just as bad to you as they are to us. So, yeah. Sorry is the word uh, you're looking for. He's saying that he's sorry. Yeah, exactly. Well, I, hmm. well your apology is kind of accepted. Cool. Cool. Right. Let's search this room. Oh, what's this? Newspaper. What happened here? Gangland. Archaeologists missing in Iraq. 24 British archaeologists have gone missing in the Zagros Mountains of Iraq. The Hodgson expedition so, arrived in the kingdom in September last year with a stated goal of unearthing the. Should we expect an itemized bill for all That's these, clever. Uh, Is that a link to uh, yeah. House of Ashes? There was an X there, but it's gone. Try again. Gone. Oh, here we go. Just enjoying the perks of our all-inclusive cruise. Okay. We got one guy complaining about another guy pretending to be sick so he could get out of guarding one of the holds. And I guess he was kind of a repeat offender. Sounds like nobody liked it very much down there. So, uh, I guess the moral of the story is stay the fuck away from the haunted cargo holds. Haunted. Maybe they just didn't like working there. Yeah, or maybe there are super ghosts. Super ghosts. <laughs> what? Ghosts, but like 16 bit. Yeah, I don't know what you're saying. Super ghosts. Right. We just need to stay calm and focus on getting out of here. I just wish I knew what the fishermen were planning. Probably looking for gold. Look, those meatballs are probably just looking for some get-rich-quick Manchurian gold. Which may not even exist. I mean, what if they don't find anything? Then we're fucked. So, what do we do? Uh, way I see it, we got two options. Way I see it, we got two options. We sneak out or we stay here and fight. Simple as that. Sneaking out is a better option. Mm. Yeah. But I just don't know how we're going to do it. Leave that to me. Okay. Well, we're not going to do anything from in here. We need to keep looking around and try to find a way out. All right. Yeah. Catch you later. Catch you later. You're in the same room. It's not catch you later, is it? Uh, what's this? Ça tombe en ruine, Nelson. 
et j'ai pas les outils pour y arriver. Fais ce que, fais ce que je te dis, et c'est tout. Va te faire foutre. Quoi Qu'est-ce que t'as dit Rien. Ton bon cul. Arrêtez, arrêtez ça. Ta gueule, Julien. Tu restes ici et tu surveilles les prisonniers. Prisonniers On est en prison Charmant. On sera bientôt riche si vous la fermez. Et si vous faites ce que je vous dis de faire il y a quelque chose qui cloche ici. Je sais pas, cet, cet endroit est bizarre. Olson, on devait seulement aller voler. Et là, on se retrouve coincé sur ce ratio de merde qui pue la mort. Et on a des prisonniers Ça va trop loin, tout ça. Vos gueules Fermez-la tous les deux. Je suis votre capitaine. Et je vous ordonne d'obéir à mes ordres. So they are looking to rob us and just get the gold. Confirmed. What's this here? Premonition? Is I wonder it? why this is ripped off. No. Oh, it's a dog. Shit mascot. But is why is his, his name has been scratched off? What the hell? Why? What do you think this ship was? God knows. Oh, what's this? Letter? Some description? Hi baby doll, I miss you like crazy. Three months until my next leave and jumping into your arms. Three months. Alex, I've been. I'm really scared. I've been on some uh, some shore leave with the guys, had a few beers, but don't worry, I'm keeping everything ready for you if you catch my drift. Three months, keeping everything ready for you. Hmm. How's work? I hope that boss of yours is leaving you alone. I know you can take care of yourself, but I feel helpless being so far away and I want to keep you safe. Great. Of all the places I'm going to die on, a bona fide ghost ship. I get a lot of time to think while I'm guarding the cargo holds. It's dark and spooky down there. Some of the other guys have seen a figure roaming around, but I've always got you with me to keep me safe too. I'll be with you soon, get a job as a mechanic, and we get married and have two children. We'll be happy together forever. Love you so much, Miller. So, okay, so he's got three months worth of um, release, put it that way, for his missus. <laughs> Is that that bit on there? Is this a scary movie where she gets pinned to the ceiling? Real, real creepy. Some glasses. Don't know what's creepy about glasses. I really don't want to know what these guys are going to do with us. Hey, keep your eyes peeled for another. You feel me? Okay. What's next? Anything along here? Clearly not. Here we go. Let's move this along. Beast, Conrad. Look at that. It's smashing that filing cabinet to one side. Right, let's kick it through. Oh, hang on, what was that? Oh, is it the paper I've already got? Yeah, it was, yeah. Yeah, yeah, leave it. Right, can we help him out? Nope. So what the hell are we meant to do? Anything here? Just that dude, gardeners. Anything on the table for us here? Come take a look. Come take a look. Oh god! After that, right? Okay. Round we go. Any luck? I can't get it open. Hey, come here. If we could bust it open. Freedom. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We don't know where a bit like this would go. Better than being in the room, isn't it? Um, can't be worse. Wherever it leads, it can't be worse than here. Yeah, true, man. Want me to just smash through this wall? Oh yeah, sure. Big man on campus. Ooh. Someone should create a distraction. 
This is gonna be loud. Yeah, okay. Conrad, you do it. Conrad, create a distraction. Uh, let's... Fuck it, let's barricade the door, man. Come on, surely. Better than a distraction, because they can't even get in then, can they? Oh shit, it's going nowhere. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Push. Triangle. Keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing. Feel like I'm midwife there. Push, 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 push. Push it, man. Come on, Conrad. Get out of there. Oh, shit, man. Is he dumb? Oh, God. Heartbeat thing again, is it? X. Oh, Christ. Do not want to die here. Why you don't want to jump through, does he? He's dumb. He must be dumb. Are safe now? Conrad, upper deck. Keep going. Look at that. Sailor Love girl. The place. Come on. There's gotta be some stairs around here. Right, check this doorway here. Finally got a torch at least. Fire, what's this, uh, what you call it? Clipboard, that's the word I'm looking for. <laughs> Due to the extra, uh, whoops. No talking, no playing of games, no smoking, no alcohol, no gambling. Anyone found breaking the rules will be met with sternness of punishments up to and including court martial. Nobody is allowed in 3A. Seriously, nobody. What the hell is in 3A? Okay. On our way. Through here. Oh, what's this here? Door? Oh, Jesus. Uh, what the hell is this? Oops. Look at these clothes, man. Rags, basically. And there's the mystery of smelling socks and pungent briefs. Ooh. Pungent briefs. Wow. What's this? Washing machine? <laughs> oh, shit, in. Jesus. <laughs> oh, God. Can't happen a second time. No. Dead end. Okay. Back this way. Through I've got limited control over the torch here. Because of the way the game works. What the hell was that? What? Well, that was... I just want to know where the hell they all went. There should have been dozens of people on board. Hundreds. How could they all just vanish? Shut this room up. And leave all of their stuff behind. Something doesn't add up. Outward Bounds, Cargo Hall 2. Where's the you are here arrow? Hmm. Could do with that. <sighs> that was a proper cheap jump scare. That was well fucking. <laughs> Anything along this way? No. Okay, this way here. Can we go down here? Oh yes, it is. 
passageway of some description. Oh, no. Toilets. Really? What's this? Oh, a letter. Dear Ellis, I'm finally coming home. This is it, darling. One last trip across the Pacific, and I'll be back to you and the girls. I can't wait to see your faces. Tell Ned and Nancy to get excited. They're going to see Daddy real soon, and he's got gifts for y'all. I'm sure glad to be back at sea. It's hotter than an Oklahoma summer out here on land, and there's no escape from it. I've been alright because i got your letters to keep me going. They censor them, which is probably for the best, because sometimes the others steal them to read, and I don't like them reading our letters. I know really creeps me out. He keeps telling me there's a little boy on board and it sounds like Ted. I know he's just messing with me. There ain't no way we got a stowaway. Our ops guys are far too slick now the war is over. I bet let ed edit this bit out. But it shows what a place can do to a guy. I gotta go for now, honey. There's some commotion outside. That usually means I'm about to be real busy for a while. I'll write again soon. Robert. Kiss kiss. Why has he wrote a letter on a on the toilet? Was he, like, having a poo at the time? Can we get in it? Nothing else for us. Okay. Anything else here? Oh, God. This is a bigger room than I was expecting. No. Okay. Right. Out we go. This way. In here. Alright, there's nothing here. I'll take it. If by that you mean the terrifying sound, then no, I didn't hear anything. <laughs> Was it something moving? Something moving would make that sound, sure. What is this place? Well, is there anything we can use down here? We're gonna need the distributor cat back. Where are we gonna get out of here? Honey, honey, honey. Hello! Who the hell whispered then? Book, some description here. I identified problem areas with structural brittleness and cracks in some sections of Cargo Hold 1. I instructed our shipwright to carry out the necessary welding repairs. I advised the captain to go easy, especially in bad weather. Any aggressive movement could cause the ship to break its back. I responded to a complaint that some electric, uh, electronic malfun try again, bloody hell, electronic equipment had been malfunctioning recently. I discovered growths of tin whiskers around some of the components. What the hell's tin whisker? I cleaned and added lead to the solders, which has stopped the equipment shorting out and should slow down the growth. Engineer's log. We totally fucked. I conducted a thorough weekly engine room inspection of fuel, oil and fluid, which showed lower levels of cylinder oil than expected. I have reminded staff in the engine room to be attentive and vigilant with their hourly checks and to alert an engineer if there's any loss of pressure. The ship was caught in a heavy electrical storm which began shortly after midnight. The lightning strikes caused a lot of electrical arcing travelling through hoisting cables, a loft deck which has left damage. The grease has boiled up and destroyed some of the cabling. I've received reports that the main problems caused by the storm are with electrical equipment at the moment. It's like the tin whiskers. Whiskers. If anybody knows what a tin whisker is, please leave the definition in the comments. Uh, haven't helped matters. Despite the rough sea, there have been no reports of any structural damage. However, I'll have to work through the night to make a full damage assessment. Right, on our way. Walking on this rusty ship in bare feet, like you are going to get some kind of illness. And also here. Oh, this is nice. I wonder where everyone went. Oh, what's this? Maybe everyone's hiding in the hold for a big surprise party. What the hell is this? Some little... It's like a skull? It's a teeny tiny skull? What kind of animal is that? Bizarre. Hmm. 
Nothing in there. Is that a book? Yeah. The skipper has KO'd the booze for this whole goddamn trip. There's nothing like being sober to make you realise just how quiet the ship is. There was a fight between those dumb schmucks Wilson and Anderson right after we sailed, but Ferris nipped that in the bud real quick, and it's been quiet as a church ever since. Got talking with a fella who would help load up the ship. He told me they put a bunch of coffins on board, which isn't so weird, maybe. B, he said. But, I guess it's meant to be. But, he said. There was some guy who made sure the coffins were all put in one of the holes just right, real precise. Not the treatment you'd get if you were any old grunt. Got me thinking, who could be in those boxes? Friday 13th. Booze was a bum loss, Perez said he felt drunk after four cups. But I said he was talking baloney. It was like ditch water. Perez said they made some hooch from some supplies they lifted. Meeting up later down on 6 to check it out. Saturday 14th. Just heard one of the guys here snuck a look at those boxes. Gonna go find him and see what he saw. Maybe he can even help me get in to take a look. It's all set. He reckons he can sneak me in. We're gonna take a look tonight. Uh, interesting. Okay. For a dollar he told me a secret trophy. Nice. It's all off. The guy who was gonna help me get in the hold has been signed off sick. Doc Finley thinks he's some kind of flake, which might be true. But Miller says it's something else. Something weird about that place. Miller's kind of a twitcher. Wouldn't want to be caught in a pinch with him, that's for sure. Tuesday 17th. Perez said the boys made some more hooch. Too bummed out to sneak and try some. But what else is there to do? News. New batch is worse than the last one. Never listening to any damn fool idea from Perez ever again. Saturday 21st. Last night I was on duty with Wallowitz. Or Wallowicks. And goddamn if he didn't creep me out. He got spooked and started babbling about some sergeant called Jones that went MIA in the jungle. Reckoned that Jones and his crew were the ones in the boxes, travelling home just like us saps. I sneaked a look and Jesus, there it was, just like the guy in the port had said. All laid out real nice, all glory, over each one. If it's Jones in there, they've done him proud. Good old Uncle Sam wouldn't leave any of us there. He'd make sure we all come. How's that it? Yeah. Jesus. Stuck on a chair. Uh, okay, what else in this room? Anything for us here? We go along this way. X. Oh god, here we go. That was somebody getting their head absolutely smashed against the door there. Or a window. Okay, nothing. Right, let's go. One way to go, clearly, this way. I think I see something moving down there. Turn the torches off, man. Give yourself away straight away. what we need to get out of here.
Way, you know. Um, gotta be careful. We gotta be careful. Could be a trap. We gotta take the chance. <sighs> oh okay. God, here we go. Keep an eye out. Gonna snap her ankle jumping from that height. Crazy. Well, what the hell is Brad doing? Oh my god, be wait. Oh Brad. Why? When did he get so brave? Uh Wanfliss. Oh shit. Oh, what? Oh, God, he's choking her out. God damn it, they're taking place. Shut the fuck up, man. Where are the others? I mean, what is Brad going to do in this situation here? Arrête de crier, j'essaie d'entendre ce qui se passe. Je crie pas. Ta gueule. Je veux savoir où sont les autres. Oh, what? Uh, uh distract? Distract? Oh, what the hell was that? Oh, what? Fuck. What All useless... Right. Oh, shit. Oh, I thought I was going to shoot him Come then. On. Step out. Leave Brad alone, man. Stand over there with her. I mean, these are pretty awkward. What are we doing? I thought we were following them. We gotta keep our distance. This way we can get ahead of them. Let's hope it's faster. I got this. Alex, main deck, 2.18 a.m. Find a way off the ship. Find the others. Oh, oh nothing there. Okay. Anything here for us at all? Got to be something in here, is there? Surely, right? Oh yes, what's this? Eternal memorandum. The makeshift chapel. Oh good God! Why do I need to see this now? Area Seven C is being converted to a temporary chapel of rest for the duration of the voyage. All crew are required to be silent and respectful when passing near Section Seven C. <laughs> Anything along here for us? Nothing. It's difficult to know if there's any other doorways, you know, because um, you can't really see from the camera. So you kind of see a gap in the wall and you think, well, let's turn to it and see what happens.
Big Creeks. Kyle Conrad, come on, man. Right, let's go the opposite way initially. Oh, I can't. Right, can we go past where they're going? And then down here? Nope. Wait a minute. We've been here before. Uh, I don't think so. We definitely have not. Oh, I swear we've been here before, Alex. Have you been leading us in circles? Come on, guys. we got to keep moving. Definitely have not. Cupboard. God. Jesus. God. Alex, what is it? It's a lot of guts and shit. Uh, come and have a look. Ugh. See for yourself. Ugh. Ugh. Something else on the wall here. Many. Hey, according to this, today is beef casserole. Mm, yummy. It's as if everything just ground to a halt on this one day. Beef the whole casserole. Ship just stopped functioning. Uh, well, it actually is a Sunday. Crisp bacon and scrambled eggs. Oof, beef casserole. And then Monday, grilled bacon and hashed brown potatoes. Wow. That's nice. Sunday menu, look at that. Bacon and scrambled eggs. Beauty. I live off scrambled eggs. It's the absolute cornerstone of my diet. Scrambled eggs. What's this? Oh, blade. Is that this? Hey, easy with that. We shouldn't be screwing around right now. Nice blade. Could make a nice severance package for my assailants if you catch my drift. Uh, We might need it. I guess you never know. We might have to use it. Uh, anything along here? Oh, what's this? Big pot. Oh, Jesus. Soup du jour, mademoiselle? As if you know your way around the kitchen. Hey, babe, once we settle down, I will be your personal chef de cuisine. Something off about those two. I know they're in a stressful situation, but they just bitch at each other. Right. Alright, what is this place? Canteen? I think looks we like gotta it. go through here. Dining room type thing. Something over here. What the hell is this? <laughs> oh, what? Shit. Brad getting stabbed. What the hell for? Wait. This isn't right. Brad. Shit, hell. What? What? There's something in here with us. Did, didn't you? I mean, uh, did you hear anything? All right, well, we should keep moving. I know I saw something. It was moving in the shadows. Uh, just rats. Rats. Probably just rats. That's all it was. Don't fucking laugh at me. Fuming, bloody hell. First thing he did as well was pull out his knife, which is a bit alarming. Right, we've been here before, I'm sure of it. We're going around in circles. Can we go this what way. What do you want to do? Turn around? We've seen all this before. Cool it, Jay. Cool it, Jay. We don't Jay. have a lot of options. It's gotta be this way. Can we go down here. Okay, no. This isn't working for me. Oh, God. Gross caskets and crappy chapels. Not my scene, you know? It is crappy. You're right. It's gross and it's crappy. Gotta get out of here too sweet. And we gotta find Fliss. Okay, so can we just get the fuck out then? Toot sweet, what does that mean? What is this? 
Right, we can uh, we can open these potentially, can we? Hey, we got a name on this guy. Brian Carter. What are they even doing here? I don't think stuck on a ghost ship for all eternity sounds like a good plan, eh? Who cares where they're from or where they're going? They're dead and we're not, so let's keep it that way. Oh god. What the hell? Look at this. It's insane. Is it even human? It's got two heads. I mean, was it ever human? What is the deal with this place? That is some bad mojo, dude. Okay, leave. Now. Leave, leave, leave. Leave, leave, leave. She is super stressed. Anything on these shelves was here? Nope. Got some serious locks in these caskets. Why would they be chained and locked? Well, that's one way to end a relationship. Why the hell do you need to padlock a casket? Look at this one. Like for a kid or something. Oh, I don't want to know. God. Let's get out of here. Yes, maybe that's little baby Dracula. Right there, and those are his parents, and they're lying in the dirt from their native country. And, and they all jump on Conrad and eat off his face. <laughs> the end. Yeah, Conrad's getting annoying. I think he's dealing with his stress by being a bit of an arsehole. Oh, this... What's okay. Shh. Shh. Here we go. Oh, just a rat. <laughs> what is it? Look! Holy what? shit. Seriously? Are you trying to freak me out? Huh? Can we just get out of here? Holy shit, man. <laughs> oh, God. Got me then. I thought it was just a rat. But obviously, obviously not. Is that anything there? No? Can we please hurry? I'm done fighting. Roger that. We gotta get place. No time. What we in here? Is. What the hell is making that sound? What sound? Oh wow! Why so spick and span? Sick bear. This can't be good. Anything along here for us? Any medicine we find in here is going to be old. What the hell is this here? Aspirin? No best before date on it. Still might have some kick. Four years of med school and you prescribed me an 80 year old aspirin and I called me in the morning. Oh, is he going to have them as well? That's not going to make him sick, is it? Oh my god. <laughs> Conrad just does not care at all, does he? Oh my god, is this another two-headed person here? Oh, Fuck! Whoa. Hey, this is no time to be fucking around. I'm serious. I can't take it. Oh, man. Don't. Don't touch it. Oh, what the fuck? Don't touch it! Why did you touch it? Oh man, that is pretty grim. Anything? Where to now? Oh well, she's going there, which means we'll go here. Where the hell is Conrad? Oh, what the hell is Conrad? this? Maybe just get him some air. Oh, Conrad! hang on. What the fuck? Oh, he's been carved up. There's a couple of different things here. Um, the hell's this clipboard here? 
Okay, so this guy had appendicitis, which is pretty routine, and then, then he died of a massive heart attack, which is not routine at all. Hashtag nope. Nope. Hashtag nope. Jesus Christ, man. Strange one. There's a body on the floor here, which I'm kind of hesitant to go and look at, but we're going to have to. Oh, God. What the hell? Whoa. Looks like he died of fright. You can't see that. The hell? Died of fright. Jesus Christ. Okay, there's nothing here. Follow Julia back through here. Connie? Connie! Where's he gone? She wants her. She's a bit of a, a bit of a nightmare. -er. Uh oh, who the hell's got that jammer? Probably doesn't even know himself, let's be honest. First time being on the ship. Going, damn it. He doesn't know Fliss. Just chill out, man. Right, engine. What the hell's moving in the corner there? Christ. Watch this. Wrench, get it. Do him. Hey, Do him. Take off. Oh, Danny. Feel like we are alone here. Oops. Come on, camera, keep up. Right, can we go beyond? Oh no, nowhere else. Nowhere else to go. Probably a corpse, dude. Nobody's there. Yeah. Damn it. Just a hat on a stick. This fucking place is cursed. This place is cursed. It's the guy off Mummy 2. This is cursed. What's this? Hat. SS? What? Madan? It's the name of the film. Name of the game, even, not the film. <laughs> what was that noise? What noise? Everybody's hearing What's shit. I think he's blown a fuse. I think he's blown a fuse. He has an half. <laughs> God almighty. Ah, <sighs> cheap, cheap, cheap. Jump scares. Haven't we been here before? People keep saying this. Oh Christ. Oh Christ. That guy. That guy's probably still right here with us. I mean, 
You die on a ship, your ghost stays on the ship. Come on. You have no idea what you're talking about. Well, I think that's pretty much what Fliss was talking about. When she was on about respecting the dead and stuff and spirits and that. Look at this guy. Poor guy. He looks like he's screaming. Face looking like that. I don't know. It's like nothing I've ever seen. I don't know what the fuck this is all about. But we gotta keep moving and find Olsen. Now. Okay. All screaming corpse. There we go. Oh, hang on a minute. Olsen? Oh, no. Yes, could you fail? Mad. I won't try and say the rest because I can't speak French. Oops. Walking down this long corridor. down. Long dark corridor here. Premonition. Oh god, this guy. He's the one who knocked the clipboard up my hand when we first got on the ship as well. He can do one him. Seriously. Someone just returned fire at him to be fair there. Torch. Hat. But no Danny. Hey, what? Okay, anything here? Oh. Here we go. Pre oh, Jesus Christ. Premonition. If it works. know what what that's meant to be so that's a very deliberate camera angle isn't it let's be honest <laughs> uh, this way let's call this oh hang on can we no we can't nothing here right two doors here only one appears to do anything. Nice. Straight through. Fliss been working out. Powering these doors open. We need to find a way up on deck. Yeah, man. Right. Can we go this way? Oh, what's this? Vent? Oh, God. Here we go. <laughs> oh, tell you, man. You know it's coming, but it still gets you. Right, this way, onwards. Oh, here we go. Oh, shit. That can't be a good sign. Power's gone off. Power gone off, man. Right, we are in the cargo bay here, by the looks of it. Anything down here for us? Who the hell is humming? Hey! Shut up! Yeah, shut Come up, man. In. Seriously. Nope. Uh, guard duty. Nothing much on there. Whoa. Okay, let's get out of here. Is that Brad? Yeah, come on, Brad. Radical. Check out the big brains on Brad. If you've seen that film before. Oh, Jesus. 
What happened down here? Corpses. Can we do anything? Oh, what a shot. Look at that shot. Oh, wow. Charles T. Perez. Look at that. How do we get it back in focus again? Can we? That is a seriously cinematic shot. Look at that. That is beauty, that. Oh, nice. Whoa. Hang on a minute. We're stranded. Brad on his own here. Hey, are you sure you know where we're going? Uh oh. Fliss? Uh, Fliss? Hello? Alright, come on, Brad. Typical horror film trope here Fliss? where I bet his glasses will fall Fliss? off. Where'd you go? Corpse? Oh, bullet hole in the. Well, not just a bullet hole, a full-on bullet. Great. All these hallways look exactly alike. Ah, back in the loop again. Hey. Whoa! Hey, where were you? What the hell? Where'd she come from? What the hell? Where's the torch gone? Is that Fliss? 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 She's gone again. Where'd you go? Oh. Bullet again? Same body? Alex. Oh. That's weird. Mm, okay, okay. What the hell? Let's get out of here, man. Oh, Fliss on her knees. Damn, girl. <sighs> Is this the same corridor? Surely not. Absolutely Jesus, what the hell? Where did he come from? He was dead, wasn't he? Okay, I'm not buying this. What the hell? Who the hell now? There's no way that body would have decomposed by now. Oh, whoa! Eh? What? Oh my god! Again? It's froze. What the hell? Oh, there we go. <laughs> hey, are you sure? Find a way off the ship. Which, like, what is real now? What is reality? Just keep on moving. Keep on moving. There's nobody there, man. Body's gone. What on earth? bullet but no body oh Christ it's Alex deaded whoa look at his face man 
God. Oh shit. It's Harvey Two Face. Out of Batman. Look at the state of him. That one must have hit. That better have hit. Because it went red. Oh, he's alive. He's alive. Brad's alive. Must keep. Brad and Fliss alive. So now what? Jesus Christ. Anything here? No. I like Brad and Fliss the most. Out the pair of them. Okay, up the ladder, man. Where the hell are we now? this get find the others find a way off the ship what is all of this here nothing anything this is stressy who's that oh what who's there get away what? Stay cool, Brad. Let's just ignore that door just for a moment. Is there anything else here? Skeletons. Oh. Skeletons. Oh my god. Skeletons? Everywhere. Where's the skin, guys? Where'd all the skin go? Wrench? No, come on, dude. Come on, dude. Don't need that, surely. Watch this. Not Some sort of altercation. You asked to be kept informed of the radio situation. We attempted outgoing messages at the following times and no response. 110, 120, 130, 140, 150. We were able to pick up indirect messaging traffic until 140. However, there has been no further messages, incoming messages track at all since that time. It is possible our radio equipment is faulty. I am investigation, <laughs> investigating, and expect to be able to report back to you by 0300 hours. Private Cooper. Holy shit, man. What is this? Oh, it's the wrench again. Come on, dude. Don't need it. Brad is not a violent man. Oh my god. You're not supposed to be out here. I'm not supposed to see this. Let's leave him. Don't reach for me. Don't grab me. Okay. Let's go. Doorway. Okay, I'm gonna have to drop down here clearly. I'm pointing at my screen, I don't know why. Oh, stuck. I'm trying to avoid that corpse. Right, Brad. Drop down. Oh Christ. Alex? Julia? Really? What the hell, Brad? Oh, dude. Get moving. Was that? X. To what? Can I get it? Please. X. Jesus Christ. What? 
Oh. Right. That makes sense. <laughs> it's a locked door that she can't get through. <laughs> Who the hell was that? Seriously, this is getting weird. Getting freaky. Ghost. Is that Brad's ghost? You better be alive. I'll tell you that now. Corpse. Oh, badly decomposed. R2. Okay. This way then. Oh, Jesus Christ, what the hell? Oh my god. Uh, circle. Shit. Run, girl. Who the hell are these guys? Oh, square. Get out of there, Fliss. Get out of it. Oh, Brad, no. What? Uh, save Brad, save Brad. Help him. <laughs> Shit, Brad. What in the... What the Christ? What in God's name is this? What the hell is this now? Search the ballroom. How is there a ballroom on a a warship though? Is this realistic? Like Can we play a tune? That sounds like the exact same note. Surely not. Could it be? Doom, 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 doom. One thing. I don't know <laughs> what. Shit, what? You obviously weren't impressed with my Linkin Park. <laughs> What's this? Oh, here we go. Oh, nothing. Empty cabinet. Fair enough. Strange one. Book. Huh? Open it up, read it. Come on, what's in there? Oh my god. Uh, I won't read all this out. Uh, Pause it if you want to read it yourself. Uh, there's a lot of stuff in here. Demons, Cabal, Pentangle, bloody hell. Five star incantations, swords, curses. What? A lot of devil demon stuff here. Is that like a goat skull there? Which is obviously bad news. Wow. Okay. This whole thing's bad news right now. Uh, anything on there for us? No. I still can't believe there's a ballroom in a World War Two ship. Surely would not have happened, would it? Oh, what's this here? Rivers of blood. Strange. What the hell's this? Oh, not. No, come on. 
Next one here, please. This one. Oh my god, skulls. In a pentagram. There's some devil stuff going on here, man. Oops. Oh, get around the pole, please. Anything else here for us? What the hell? Seriously, man. Nothing else, no? Stuck again. Keep getting stuck behind chairs and tables and God knows what else. Right. Let's get out of here. Nice camera angle there from above as well. Torch next to useless. It's just gone off. In fact. Right, there we go. Through there. Uh, oh, what's this here? Another... Uh, oh, what the hell? Come on, man. Why? Wow. Someone drowning, potentially? Or being drowned? Premonition. What's this? Flip the switch. Oh, Jesus Christ. What? Got to be bad news. Oh, hang on a minute. Oh, this is... Bad news, this. Seriously, man. Why is there a coffin on the stage? Jesus Christ. Ooh. What the hell, dude? What? Okay, get out of here. Get out of there, Fliss. Oh, she's on the deck. Oh, she's gone back in again. What the hell? Oh, no, no. Hang on a minute. What is this? Was this whole ballroom some kind of dream or vision? Bad news again. Manchurian gold? What the Christ? Chemical leak. What? How do I? What's this? Anything? No. Oh. Now what? Exit. Oh, it's Brad! Come on, dude. Get in there. Brad. Oh, hang on, he's freaking out. Hey, Brad. What are you. Hey, what's wrong? What the fuck? Chill out, Brad. Chill out. It's all good. It's all good, man. Dicey. Who the hell is that behind us? Oh, whoa! Oh, she's back in the plane. So 
swim, girl. ring as well. Alex is dead a lot in this. Take the ring. Oh. Put it on. Oh, here we go. Eyes are going to wobble. What the hell? Who's drowning who here? Oh, leave the knife, leave the knife. What's going on, man? You, you okay? Thanks. I could have drowned. I'm sorry, but you did the right thing. It was him or us. Fuck! The hell is that, dude? <gasps> oh, hang on a minute. What? Oh no, what? What? Come on. Let's go. Who the hell is that? Is that uh, the one called Junior? He's crazed. What the hell is going on, man? Just keep running, Brad. Get out of there. What the hell happened to Conrad? Wanted to surprise me with the whole oh. pirate adventure thing, and I gotta say it was a good idea. No, it was. I mean, it's funny. I think it's funny, but I think the guys you hired are taking it a little too far, maybe. And don't be cheap. I mean, you didn't feel like paying top dollar, and that's you get. You get these guys that are not cream of the crop. They're taking it a little too far. You know, you get my drift. So if you want to feel free to pull the old plug, get rid of these guys. I'm with you. I mean, these guys are fucking crazy. They're chasing us around the ship. Oh, what? Oh, Conrad, the hell? Alex! Juliet! Get out of there, Conrad. Get out of it. I have to check these rooms. Map. Oh, nice. Water purification. Premonition again. Here we go. Oh. No way! Ship in a bottle. That's our ship, isn't it? What? Oh, what? Conrad, keep it together, man. So 
anything else here? No. Okay. I do like the music, it's got a little bit of a Fallout vibe to it. Purely just because of the era it's from. Watch this. Operations order. Man overboard. Ordered full stop and anchor. 128. I received reports of man overboard. Ensure that all units under your command are notified and prepared to assist in the search and recovery of the casualty. This was no accident. I saw him jump. Or oh, what? Why are people jumping overboard? Internal memorandum, here we go. What's this? Captain Ford has ordered that the consumption of alcohol is strictly forbidden during this voyage. Any officer found drunk while on or off duty will face court martial. Your alcohol rations will be provided to you at a later date. The war is over. This is bullshit. Yeah, if you've been through war, you're probably going to want to drink, let's be honest. A little tipple. Won't hurt. I wonder what beer was like back in those days. Deliberately skipping the doorway just to keep going the way that I've come, just to make sure we're... Yeah, that's fine. Oh, hang on, there's another... Was that two there? Oh, no, maybe it's just... No, no, it's the same one. That's fine. Just want to double check that. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Right, this way. It's fucking with me, man. It's the door. It's just, it's just fucking with me. That's it. I gotta find everybody. Whatever this is, it's, it's fucking with me, okay? It's fucking with me. Stay cool, Conrad. Stay cool. Anything on here? Yeah. Oh, get it, man. Get it. Oh, Christ. The hell is this? Whisk whiskey. Probably not much of a practice when you preach kind of guy. Yeah, man. Drank his rations. What the hell? Okay, this is too weird because he's wearing a Salem T-shirt as well, which was all the witch type if stuff. Knew what the hell was going on in this place, it would have been the captain. Okay, anything else on the table? Yep, candlestick. Way, man. Candlestick again? No candle on it this time. Oh no, hang on. Behind you, man. Oh, okay. Freaked a little bit there. I, he's still in bare feet. What was that? Yeah, I should really take a look behind this door. Oh, uh, don't do it, Conrad. I should. But should I? Oh, Jesus yeah, Christ. I should. Oh, you close nothing. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, all right. So how do I pry this son of a bitch open? I gotta find something to pry the door open. Oh. Thought I could have just pushed it. Uh candlestick? <laughs> Perhaps. It's got some half to waste. Enough of the door. Yeah, man. Whoa! 
Oh, behind you, dude. Shh, Yiza. She's there. X. Oh my Christ, Conrad. Oh. What the hell? Oh no. Keep going dude, keep going, keep going. Oh my god, look at her. Square! Oh, dude! This is panic. Shh! Close it up! Oh ho 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 ho! Keep away from that glass. Square. Oh my god. Oh. Shit, NL. Oh, dude. Careful. Uh, run. Just run. Just run. Get up the ladder. Go. Oh, Christ. Oh, God. In an air vent of all things. Now I know what a TV dinner feels like. Get out of there, Conrad. Oh, she's got a beard. Woman with a beard. Okay. Take your time. Hit the buttons right. Triangle. Get out of there, Conrad. Oh, God, you bitch. Don't trust a woman with a beard. Oh, God, he's stuck. Shit, dude. You could have smacked it to be fair there, like when you were Oh Conrad. Don't fall, don't fall. Oh no, Conrad. Uh, just confront her, take her on, come on man. Smack her, just punch her. Fliss? What is shit? Come on, come on, please. It's me, look at me. It's Fliss. See, it's Fliss. Oh, wow. Get out of there. Oh, Christ. Oh, 
Oops. That's not worked. Oh yeah, leave your missus to open the door, yeah. Go on, mate. Open it. Holy shit. Whoa, Conrad! Oh no! The hell? Oh, they're back together. We gotta get somewhere safe. Shit, that was intense. Holy shit, man. Temporary safe haven. Woo! This is intense. We're good, I think. Right, I'm gonna take a drink. Hello. Hello. Things appear to have taken a turn towards the spiritual, wouldn't you say? I like his outfit. Nice suit. Got some whiskey in that book. Have you figured out what's going on? How to stop it? How to save the lives of your poor, unfortunate stowaways? Yes. You will, I hope. Although it seems the ship's previous occupants never managed to. Quite a lot of deaths that night. Let me help you out. Give you a little hint. Please do. Uh, I need some help. Give it to me, man. Curious. Well then, how can I put this? There may be forces at play here that are more scientific and... Even some that are more political, you know? Less supernatural. Perhaps you've started to realize something. That everything and everyone may not be quite what they appear to be. I hope that helps. Well, aren't you excited to find out what your poor unfortunates are making of all this and how you might avoid any more unnecessary tragedy? Go on, back to it. Speak soon. I am piecing this together, I think, in my mind. What the hell is wrong with you back there? Brad, you lost your shit, like big time. You almost killed me. What? What are you talking? Come on, no, no, come on. That's ridiculous. What the fuck is going on with this ship? Because I gotta be honest, it feels like there's some like, like evil, like literal evil going on down there. Let's just stay calm and relatively sane about this, okay? The stuff I saw, it's like there were these old soldiers. They were bodies. They were dead, but then they came alive and. That doesn't sound that crazy right about now. I saw something. This, uh, uh, this old lady. I mean, she was batshit crazy and like dinosaur old. Oh, she had a beard as well. Only Alex. What are you talking about? There were things walking around with his face on them. Alex's face, it, it was horrifying. Julia, I've never hurt you. You know that, right? No, I know, it's just, let's time out, okay? This place is too fucked up to just be fucked up. You know what I'm saying? I mean, like, something is going on here. So what do we know for sure that we can all agree on? Is this a ghost ship? <laughs> Am I crazy or are we on a ghost ship? Like, ghost ships are real and this is one and we're totally on it and oh, holy shit, we're so totally fucked? Chill out, man. I'm Calm down. the same thing. I know we're not the first people to see weird shit here. Apparently the guards were super freaked out by something they saw in the cargo holds. 
We found a note that said a bunch of guys tried to get out of guard duty because they were really freaked out by something. Uh, what happened on this ship? What do you think actually happened to this place? A goddamn mystery box is what it is. Looked like the newspaper was from 1947. I found a logbook. Why does it keep flashing in and out of existence? Sounds like the ship went through a real rage of a storm. Uh, where's the gold? Did you see the gold? Anything? Manchurian gold isn't actually gold. It's a fucking chemical and it's leaking all over cargo hold too. There we go. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this isn't exactly what our friendly fishermen are expecting either. <sighs> this should go over well. Uh, where are the crew? What happened to everybody on this ship? Where did they all go? This all feels more like a mausoleum than a ship. So where did all the corpses come from? Apparently, getting scared to death is an actual thing, because I'm pretty sure that's what happened to these guys. We know more than we did before. That's something, at least. We're wasting time. Whatever we do, we have to do it now. Time to get off this ship. We're not going anywhere without the distributor cap. The Duke needs it to run. Hold on. The ship's gotta have a radio. If we can find it and use it... That's great, but do you think it still works? Just need to find a way up there. Okay, so we know... We gotta get off this damn ship. We know the Manchurian gold is a chemical. Speaking clinically, totally effed. Come on, Brad. Be brave. We can get through this. We know the situation now. Cigar? No, it's not a cigar. I know it sounds crazy, but maybe it was these guns that took down the plane from our dive. Yeah, maybe. If they were thinking they were seeing stuff. So if we know now that the Manchurian gold is a chemical, because we've got that thing that flashed up and said chemical leak. So we know it's a chemical now, so hopefully we can not be as afraid. Riddled to bullet holes. Could use these if they weren't Swiss cheese. You're not gonna roll into the Atlantic, are you, let's be honest. Anything along here for us? Nope. Oh my god, the camera. Just want to inspect all areas. Make sure we're not missing anything here. Find a way up? Sadly, no, but I'll keep my eyes open. Here we go. Climb up. Hey, a little help over here. I think this is our way up. Give me a lift. All five of them together. It brings mm. fucking joy to my heart. I'll pull you up. Alex still. Everyone's in bare feet, right? And someone is going to stand on a rusty nail. That's what is worrying me most currently about this game. Not the supernatural element. That someone's going to get tetanus or some shit. Of a rusty nail and a bare foot. Nothing there. This way. Is there a door here? She's gone right before. Huh. I, I thought it looked familiar. Chess Conrad. Christ. Right, give us a door in. Here we go. God. Over here. Gotta wait through here.
Big man on campus, straight in. Okay, dude. Um. Oh, hang on a minute. Anything this way? No, just a drop. Okay, are we like uh, on the bridge now, I guess? Captain's area? Logbook, here we go. Must give us some serious clues. Huh. Oh. Last log shows him caught in a storm. Uh, weather continues to deteriorate, as does forecast, crew bearing up. Wind at storm force, gaining strength. Weather is exceptional with several lightning strikes hitting OM but causing no sustained damage. We are leaking some water but it's under control. Navigator ports seabed depth readable. Sea going down, thick fog, increasing head. Nice. Uh, fog very thick, dense fog continues. That's it, is it? Just ignore that for a moment. Make sure I've not missed anything along this way. Oh, there's a body. Jesus Christ. Can we... Nope. What's this? Oh, a door there too. Um. Oh. Premonition. Wow. Find a radio yet? No, but there's gotta be a radio on this ship. There there has to be. I'm not exactly confident about our chances of survival at this point. Oh Brad, come on man. Stay calm and cool and confident. Can we get in here? Locked. Right, there's only one way then. Through here. Oh, what the hell? What? So we're stuck. This way? Oh, here we go. Oh, Julia, Jesus, man. Why just waiting there in the pitch black? Map. wrong here. If you were headed to San Francisco, you'd be crazy to take this route. It's almost like they didn't want anyone to know they were coming. Document. Totally blank. Uh, ship oh. was blown off course, cloud cover was bad. They couldn't establish a position. Nothing much there to learn about and help us. Nothing else here. Oh, is this something? Oh, could have sworn I saw a flash. Definitely hear a radio here. Oh, no, there's the. Uh, Take a look. There's a dude who got jumped by. No freaking way. Is it Goro? actually still works? Well, radio science hasn't changed much in 70 years, as long as there's power. I'll give it a whirl. What you know, do you? Ah, it's working! It's a number station. Military bandit. Let's ask him for help. Hey! Hey, is anyone out there hearing this? Hello? Over. Holy shit! We got him! Uh... 
Uh, our coordinates. Just give me the coordinates. If you can hear us, we're on a ship, an old freighter. Our coordinates are approximately uh, 12 degrees 30 minutes south, 151 degrees 20 minutes west. Please get here now. We need help. And bring gas masks. Uh, we're on the Orang Madan. We're on this like old freighter. We think the name of it is the Iran Madan. Hello, hello. Is anyone out there? Please come in. Shit. Yo, guys, check it out. This has got to lead somewhere. Maybe we can find a way to get the power back. We need to get that radio working. I think someone should wait here in case a message comes through. I gotta be honest. I don't think I'm gonna make it down there in my shape. I'll go, obviously. Big man on this. campus. I should be the one to go. Hey, little bro. What's up? I'm thinking you might deserve a promotion. How's medium bro sound? <laughs> what, are you, what are you talking about? You stepped up to the plate. Put yourself right in the line of fire. You're kind of mixing metaphors there. Not if the picture's a machine gun. <laughs> I'm impressed. Seriously. Oh, bro. So, what do you think? Uh... I got this. I got... I got this. I'm not losing you to this fucking shit. I'm coming too. Hey, what? Julia, no. Uh, you're not always gonna be there to protect big guy. I can handle this. Trust me. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. If Julia says she can handle it, she can handle it. Case closed. All right. You and me, Julia. Why didn't the two brothers just go together? Wouldn't have that have been easy? <laughs> oh, let us, Julia. Oh, pair of them. Bye. Somehow the torch made it. Any broken bones? Everything still work? You guys okay down there? Uh, yeah, we're good. I'm okay. So, what's next? We're gonna have to find the generator. If we can get it started, we can power up the radio. Copy that. We'll wait up here by the radio. The hell is that? Oh, lighter. Hey. After you. Off we go. Find the generator to restore power. Why am I not moving here? Sick bear. Check the star out here. Oh, it's a safe. Oh, what's this? Uh, minutes of meeting between scientist X, C, W, O, Walter Bishop, C, W, O, Tom Palmer, Sergeant Peter Wood observing. Uh, X for meeting with our team. We can mutually learn. Same thing. Western world must be detected from. United States has been aware of certain agencies investigating the chemological and biological agents in warfare. Our act, limited by the Geneva Protocol, experiments we are unable to... Investigation during test the effects on human subjects of the molecule crystal structure hallucinogens... Hallucin... can't even say the word... Hallucinogens <laughs> named Manchurian Gold. Oh. Relatively minor, observed to trigger significant hallucinogens, highly convincing subjects seeing and hearing things that were really not there. Danger was manifold in its intensity. Sons of bitches. 
the Americans set up their own ship here with the biological agent as a test. So it looks like there was some sort of fight and this Charlie went to the brig. Ten day sentence. Must have been a big fight. Ten days in the brig. Charles Anderson. Oh, it says Charlie and Joe at the start. Bless him. Poor guys. I still maintain that I hit that shot. I'm going to go back and watch it. I hit that shot against that kid. Now, normally I wouldn't want to shoot a child, but I'm pretty certain that I did shoot that child. Uh, Arthur Miller, petty theft, David Davis, politician? Surely not. Uh, Louis Brand, Charles Anderson, Joseph Roberts, 10 Days Brig. Joe was in the sick bay. Joe. It's our boy Joe. So I feel like we have learned. We need a hundred hot baths if we ever get out of here. We're gonna get out of here, Julia. I hope you're right. Am I ever wrong? Am I ever wrong? Big man on campus. But yeah, we have learned the secret here. Oh. It's a test. It's a weapons test. Wow. Jesus. He's dead. His notebook's gone. Something here. Paper. Uh, John Patterson, private, mild neurosis, and um, fit for service. Facts are as follows: I saw Private Patterson today, who attended sick bay. During that visit, I observed. Oh my God, I'm yawning. I observed sight. Jesus. <laughs> I observed signs of severe distress, consistent with evidence of panic. I observed in the same soldier during his watch duty earlier this week. I requested Patterson see me today as I believe his panic to be accompanied by vivid and disturbing memories. In the past, he has managed to continue his duties as symptoms appear to alleviate after his guard shift. He claims these symptoms are very unusual. Private Patterson is fit and healthy young man of 25 years with no known medical conditions and exemplary military career. He was able to calm down during the course of our meeting and test for speech reactions, memory and decision making all appear normal. Clear case of C-O-S-R. Which I don't know what that means. Please let me know in the comments if you know what C-O-S-R means. Because I don't have a bloody clue. Oh, something here. It's the kid again. Man. The son of someone on board. Right down here. The hell? Oh, hang on a minute. Am I? Oh shit, I've gone the wrong way. <laughs> okay. Double back. This way. There's Julia hanging out in the shadows as well. Seriously. Why? Goodness, right along the railings here. Uh, drop down there, but is there anything else? No, that is it. Let's just drop down. Gotta take a look. Look down there. A walkway. I think that's the engine room. Good place to find the generator, right? Let's find out. Makes sense. Shit. Shit. No more ladders. 
Don't hurt your uncle, man. Wait. Jesus, man. Are you okay? Yeah. Fine. Come on down. They've got ankles of steel. Seriously. Oh, when Sid oh, shit in hell. You didn't fucking see that. Right. No. Of course you didn't. Um, hello? Yeah, I think I'm actually seeing clearly for the first time in a while. Nothing jumped out at me. So, the ship was carrying Manchurian gold. But that was really some sort of hallucinogenic bioweapon developed in China during World War II. We know it was unstable and leaked all over the ship. Maybe it's still here, and it's having the same effect on us. Paranoia, hallucinations, that was what this stuff was designed to do. The crew was hallucinating. We know they were scared of something, and the officers thought it was just a bunch of jumpy GIs trying to get out of guard duty. All this crazy shit going on, none of it's real. None of it's actually there. This couldn't have anything to do with the plane wreck we dived. I don't know, it seems like the plane came in contact with the ship, but it's just a theory. Oh God. Alright, let's get going. They shot the plane down because they thought it was probably some kind of, I don't know, dragon or some shit coming at them. Now watch this. Rotterdam, Netherlands. 1920. Diesel engine. Nice. What else? This could be Rotterdam or anywhere, or Liverpool or Rome. You ever wonder what would have happened if we went to Japan on vacation instead? Shut up. Went to Japan on vacation, it would have got probably a very, very, very nice train trip. Solo, solo travel. If nobody knows that on YouTube, check it out. Seriously. Engine room, telegraph log. Uh, engine speed adjusted, standard speed, standard speed with no special or standing orders from bridge or chief engineer, found Lieutenant Young to be sober and compass meant his disposition, relieved watch, nothing crazy going on, uh, cut engine room power, yeah man, nothing here. Was anchored. I wonder why. Order received to anchor in shallow water in the middle of the Pacific. Right. Nothing else there. Okay, feel much more confident now because we know that this is fake, essentially. It's hallucinogenic, so we can just overpower it with our minds with any luck. Anything here? Nothing. There is, you can see the gas, they're walking through the gas. But obviously less affected by it now than they were previously. Here we go. I found it! It's working! Yeah, this is it, alright. Just throw the switch and let's get back upstairs. Flip that switch, dude. Let's go. Get out of there. Get you woman out of here. Okay. Let's get back up there. Yes. We'll have to find a new way up. <sighs> listen, listen, we're back. Can you read me? Do you hear me? Are you hearing us? Over. Here we go, get in there. We've been kidnapped, all of us. And there are things trying to kill us on the ship. Over. Recovery mission is on route to your location. Over. Location is confirmed. Yes. Come on, work, you piece of shit. Right, Navy SEALs come in. Oh, somebody, somebody probably absolutely badass coming to save us. Can we go? 
can we can we move? Oh, here we go. Hey, look at this. How the hell did they get this aboard? Take it, because then you can breathe I in the gas. Brought it from the Duke. You can breathe hey, in the gas. Yes. Uh, it's got maybe a few minutes of air left. Worth taking with us. Hundred percent. It's just gonna slow us down. No, Julia, you're wrong. Uh, take it. Take it. No. We should take it. Tell her. Parts of the ship are completely underwater. And there's gas. Also, you may not have remembered. Oh my god! Ferme ta gueule de Christ. Leave him be. Oh my god. How did he die? Shot himself. Uh I drowned him. D Wait. did he? Is it? Oh, he's gonna get stabbed up. Oh. Ah, oh, distributor cap. He is losing his mind. He's got a sledgehammer. Oh god, here we go again. Jesus Christ. Jesus, man. Trying to avoid Triple H and his sledgehammer. Search the room, avoid Olsen. Internal memorandum. What the hell's this? The shipment of caskets unloaded earlier is specialised cargo that must be treated with the utmost sensitivity. The contents are human bodies, US Army soldiers that have undergone mistreatment to hostile hands. The remains are toxic and the caskets should not be opened. If opening. Oh! Oh, what? Oh, Christ! Triple H. Uh, run. Just, just, just run. Julia running like fuck here with a thing in her hand. There he is. Time to play the game! You little fucks. That's aggressive. What's the problem with sharing all that gold, eh? There must be plenty of that to go around, more than enough. And we're all in this together, right? Trying to cut me out of the deal? Oh god, not this again. You can't have all the gold. And I'm to be left here to die. But I am the captain. I, I am... am the game Jesus Christ Please tell me you have an escape plan Uh where's Austin when you need him? Uh let's see what he does. Stay out of sight. Let's see what he does. Please don't make me do a heartbeat thing again. Oh no Shit. I'm going cross-eyed doing this here. Oh, that was close. Christ. Big fucking hammer. Oh, that was close. Seriously, Caribbean Triple H.
Whew, man alive. Aha. Uh -huh. Do something, dude. Help your woman out. Is this gonna hold? Or do we need to start running again? We're good. Hi. changing dude no changing don't worry no no not like that i said no changing just put the gun down nobody has to get hurt you think i wanted to hurt anybody i didn't get a choice in this did i it's in you too isn't it isn't it now what is what is ah, not again it's all gone changing on me what? What's changing? Stay away! Stay back from the mist! Hey! There's no mist, man! Don't breathe it! Don't breathe the mist! Uh, what does what does the mist do? Try and talk him out of it here. What is this mist? What does it do? It's life! Bringing things to life that shouldn't be alive! It's inside now. It's the gas. Inside with us now. Please just calm down. Stop. Stop. It's in one of us, isn't it? Put the gun down now. Why would you say that? Why are you telling me what to do? Yeah, you breathed in the mist. It's happening. I can feel it. Uh. Uh, shit, uh, there was something in the last room. Okay. But we used the rebreather. Tell him. There was something in the last room. But we used the rebreather. A, a fog or a mist, maybe? I knew it. I told you. Did you breathe it in? No, no, we didn't, because we had the rebreather. We held our breath. No. No, I, I mean, we held our breath, man. The, the mist is not inside of us. <laughs> oh, really? I know you're all fancy divers, but you expect me to buy that? We've been down here for hours. You've been holding your breath this whole time. You're holding your breath right now. No, rebreather, man. Wait, wait, wait. We have a rebreather. Yes. From our boat. What? We've been using it to get the mist out of us. You know? Clever girl. You too. Okay? Yeah, man. No, 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 no. You keep that thing away from me. Oh, good. It's in me. I got the mist in me, don't I? It's in me, isn't it? Yeah. It's in you. Just do I one. Put one, in, put one in your brain. It's changing me. Yeah. On the inside. Do it. Do it. Pull the trigger. Uh, distract. No, man. There's, there's no mist inside you. I can tell. Stop. Stop lying. I don't want to grab the pistol because it might go wrong. You can all see it in me, can't this you? is stressy as hell. You're just lying. The mist is inside. Whoa, dude. Do it. Pull the trigger. Pull the trigger. Hey, hey now, don't. Two pirates down. Get that gun now. Pick it up. And get ready to do the other guy in. Oh, he's dropped it. He's d what?
Right, get the gun. You've got your woman to protect and your brother. Get the great. gun. That's just fucking great. Or not. Pussy. Yeah, sure. Let's just start drowning ourselves in puddles now. Why not? There's 472 rivets in this room, which can only mean one thing. I've been in here way too long. Hey! Is anyone hurt down there? Shit. I gotta go after him, don't I? Oh, Conrad, no. I gotta go make sure everyone's okay. Shit! Well, what's our play? You're gonna stay here with the radio. I'll go after them. What if something happens to you? I'm a big boy. This is my mess, and I'll clean it up. I'll be standing by with radio. Good luck down there. Oh, Conrad. You brave, beautiful man. What the fuck? Oh, that wasn't very much of a fall, was it? What the hell? Right, I'm gonna have a drink. Right, Conrad must live. I was all about Fliss and Brad, but now I'm just all about Conrad. And Fliss and Brad. Julia and Thingy Bob. What's his face? Drop down. Oh, God. But he still doesn't know. Does he know about the uh, the scary woman? He doesn't, does he? Oh, God. Right, stay brave, Conrad. We've got the I know the truth. We've got this. Ooh, shit, bitch. Oh, God. Okay. Here's me saying, stay brave. When I'm panicking. Uh, can I just check that door real quick? Okay, that's fine. I've just got to check all eventualities here. Right. Oh my lord above. Right, let's just quickly check along here. I want to find... Nice camera shot, that. That is a nice... I like these artistic shots that they keep doing. Right, down here. I need to find that document again. Oh god. Premonition. Who the hell was that? A little hope. Oh, something in the background. I can't move. There's a piece of luggage on the floor that's somehow blocking me. What's this? Postcard? Wish you were here. The scale of our search and recovery missions across the area have yielded results far greater than expected. Unfortunately, there is now a shortage of adult caskets. If you locate the remains of any missing persons at the water purification plant, you may have to use the smaller caskets. I guess that'll have to be Hawkins, poor bastard. There's almost nothing left of him. I know this isn't ideal, guys, but they'll give him a proper funeral and the respect he deserves once he's got his body back home. We'll just have to make this work for now. Bastard. Is he the one that was in like the the child's coffin? Oh god. <laughs> Jesus, not again. Jesus, I think I'm having a heart attack. There's a pain in my left arm. Right, I started saying this before. No, I'm not going to get the chance to finish it for the second time. The hell is this? 
je te crois pas Arrête ça Arrête de me regarder Tes yeux sont trop Non Non That's the chemicals, isn't it? Whoa! Oh god. I'm sensing a QTE. Uh back off, back off. Hey, it's cool, man. We're cool. It's all good. Oh, what's he gonna do here? We can talk this out, man. We can bond over how much we hate this boat. No. Oh. So you think that's the best solution here? Caribbean Triple H slash Eamon Targaryen. Oh, dude. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Conrad. Dude. No, look at it, it's absolutely pouring out now. Manchurian gold. Triangle. Uh, bang! Oh, yes, get in there. Conrad, get out of there. Music is tense. I'm tense. Uh, now! Now, just... Bring the door down. Oh god, Conrad. Christ. Oh shit. Get out of there, Conrad. Emma Targaryen. RIP. Goodness. Let's blow this joint. Watch his hand is wiggle now. Got a sledgehammer. Time to play the game. No. Okay. Daylight, finally. All five have made it. Yes, go on, lad. All right. Let's try it. Start her up. Here we go. Oh. Yes. Hi. 
we are out of here. Agreed. Pure greed. Purine gold. Well, that turned out to be quite a bit different than we expected. You know, I just keep going over it and over it. And it doesn't make any sense. And I know what I saw. I just don't believe in whatever it was that I saw. I saw Alex. It wasn't Alex. It was someone else. But they looked just like Alex. And he was sneering at me. Fucking rich kids. Everyone is proper scarred so, by uh, this now. Does anybody else feel like knocking back Frosty? A hundred percent, man. Jesus Christ. Okay. Yeah. Conrad is my kind of dude. Been through a massively psychological scarring event. Let's just crack a beer. Sound. Oh, here we go. What's this? Oh, credits. Congratulations. All your charges are still breathing, and that's something. Thank you. I suppose. Backhanded prayers. I suppose when the curtain falls, you're either ready for it or you're not. It's all about decisions, isn't it? Decisions made in a hurry, in a panic, made with the heart instead of the head, or vice versa. Sometimes those decisions take a long time to have repercussions. But there are repercussions. There are always repercussions. Mm. Till we meet again. Maybe in Little Hope, maybe somewhere else. But be certain, we will meet again. It's inevitable. God. Sounds like that guy from the Matrix. Oh. Won't you spare me over? Won't you spare me over till another year? Won't you spare me over till another year? Won't you spare me over till another year? Best skip that, I don't know if it's copyright. Is this... Is Danny? Danny? Still alive? After all this? I thought he was dead. Oh! These dudes better have gas masks. No, they don't. Do they? Uh, no, they're dead. They're dead already. So out of nowhere, this thing just sent out an SOS. Guess we got a real-life ghost ship here. Oh god, here we go. Whoa. What the hell is this? Whoa! <laughs> what 
Wow. I really enjoyed that. That was Man of Madame. And that is the first in the Dark Pictures anthology. Guys, hopefully you enjoyed that as well. Um, somehow all five made it out alive. We've got, what is it next? Little Hope. I have no clue what's coming. But I cannot wait to play Little Hope, if I'm honest with you. So, guys, if you had a different ending to me, or anything else changed in your playthrough that was different to mine, please leave a comment. Let me know how it went. If you'd like, that'd be great. And also, if you could subscribe, I'd be eternally grateful. But as always, guys, I'll see you in the next one.